Welcome to this video that we have created to show you the features of our new X-Rite Exact user interface. This new interface is the direct result of your feedback. It features simplified navigation and quick access to those features most commonly used. This new interface is free of charge and you may upgrade your instrument in the field by simply updating your firmware. This is the new home screen. The first thing you will notice is that the home screen looks completely different than it did before. There are now just two icons on the home screen, density slash TVI and CIE LAB. Along the top of this simplified home screen are tabs you are now able to navigate through the main screens by tapping on a tab rather than swiping side to side. Let's take a look. I will begin by tapping on the Enhance tab. This should look familiar. This is our old interface. For those of you that are familiar with the instrument's previous interface and wish to continue using it, it is right here for you. Clicking the settings tab, the gear icon, brings us to settings for users, diagnostics, and templates. Previously, this screen was accessible by swiping left to right from the home screen. Let's go back to the new simplified home screen, which is available by clicking the Quick tab. As briefly mentioned a moment ago, our home screen contains just two icons. Let's jump right into the first of these, which is density slash TVI. The measurement of density and tone value increase, or dot gain as it is often referred to, are two of the most common measurements on press. This is why we have placed these features right up front where they are easy to access. To use this function, we simply tap the density slash TVI icon. When we enter the function, we are prompted to measure our substrate. This is because we need to have this measurement to calculate TVI. I will do so now. The display confirms that we have successfully completed our substrate measurement. We may now start measuring our control patches. Let's begin with our magenta solid patch. As soon as I take a reading, the display shows a patch showing the color red, the percentage dot red, in this case 100% as we read a solid patch, the filter used, in this case magenta, and our density reading, which is 1.60. Now that we have read in the substrate and the solid, we may begin reading tone patches. I will continue by reading the 75% tint patch. Our display is similar to the previous screen. Again, we have a small patch showing the color that was red. The percentage dot red is showing 75%. Instead of a filter, the display shows TVI to indicate that this is a tone value increase reading. And finally, the display shows our TVI as 11%. Let's continue by reading our 50% tint patch. Here we see the information for our 50% TVI patch. You may read the tint patches in any order. The exact 
is able to figure out what we are doing. Let's finish up the magenta by reading our 25% tint patch. Now that we have seen all the information for our magenta, let's measure another solid. This time, I will measure the cyan. Our cyan density is currently 1.33. At this point, we could read another tint, and again, we can read the tints in any order. We do not have to read them sequentially, as I did with the magenta. However, it is not at all uncommon to only read the solids. Let's continue by reading our solid yellow patch. As you can see, our yellow is currently running at a density of 1.18. Let's wrap up this function by measuring our black. Our black density is currently at 1.60. I hope you can see that this is all quite simple. Now let's take a look at the LAB tool. To get to it, we need to return to the home screen. To do so, I am going to tap on the house or home icon in the upper right hand corner of the display. When I do so, the exact is going to ask me to confirm this. In the event that I did not wish to go back to the home screen, I can tap the arrow icon, which is now in the upper right hand corner. This will take us safely back into the density TVI function with our substrate and solid reading saved from before. This allows us to continue taking density and tone value readings. In our case though, I really do want to go back to the home screen. So I tap the home icon. This time, rather than tapping the arrow icon, I am going to tap the home icon in the lower right hand corner of the screen. We are now back at the home screen where we started out. The other function that we have available to us here is CIE LAB, commonly referred to as CLAB. This function is actually very easy to use. To begin, I am going to tap the CLAB icon. This is our LAB display. The values shown are from the last reading I took, which just happens to be our solid black patch. To read LAB values from a different patch, I simply take a reading. This time, I am going to read an orange color. You can see a small representation of the orange color as well as the LAB values from this reading. Next I am going to read a green. And there we have it. Hopefully you will find this new interface to be as appealing and easy to use as I do. Just one final note. To get back to the home screen from the CLAB function we simply tap the home key as before. That's it. There's no second step required when leaving the CLAB function as there is no requirement to have substrate or solid data for CLAB readings. For more information about x rite Pantone products or to obtain your exact firmware upgrade, please visit us today at www.xrite.com.